women in wrestling. We did not evolve. We have always been here. In the shadows. Waiting, ready, motivated. And now Ring of Honor places its spotlight on women. And as we stretch our arms to make space, we inspire. As we put our babies to bed, we create fairy tales. And as we lace up our boots and wear our stilettos, we chase dreams of gold. We are strong. We are athletes. We are passionate. We are they. This is Ring of Honor. And this is women's wrestling. Welcome everybody to Women's Division Wednesday. Ian Riccoboni, Lenny Leonard, Caprice Coleman. We have a fun one here today. It feels like the pressure is off a champion's big crown. And we are seeing the two women who are designated alternates for the tournament. This is a Women's Division Wednesday match. The number one ball at 20 minute time. It's time to turn up. I hope y'all ready to go. Oh, Women's Division Tournament. Entering the ring, wrestling out of Chicago, Illinois. Lenny Luck. I put down the spot last time, Lenny. Have you have you been turned since the last time we've seen Lenny Luck? You know, I've tried. I've really tried. My kids have worked with me. Yeah. They've made me watch TikTok video after there TikTok video. Yeah, I'm still useless. Still, no. And I, 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 I still have a type of taught you how to dug it. Not yet. <laughs> The only Doug I know is Doug Collins, former 76er. Maybe Doug E. Fresh, the Get Fresh crew. Okay, well, six minutes, six minutes, six minutes. Brandy Lauren is on. That's right. Welcome back to Ring of Honor, Women's Division, Brandy Lauren. Triple wrestling out of Buffalo, New York, Brandy Lauren. Brandy Lauren, a young woman who had opportunities a few years ago here in Ring of Honor. And I'm really impressed with her, Lenny, because she really went her own path. She's wrestled a little bit and evolved. And of course, she was in that system, now on her own once again, fighting and carving her own way. Yeah, but still the same attitude, unfortunately. I mean, a tremendously skilled athlete, but no one is a bigger fan of Brandi Lauren than Brandi Lauren. I can tell by her face expressions, man. She was looking at even the bell keepers and Bobby, the faces cameraman face she looking at, look at her face like she, she's looking Nobody down her nose yeah at dang. yeah she can feel block. it like dang dude what did i do and the code of honor hand extended from laney luck contrasted styles Ooh. here by face are you earning me head to head here brandy loren i want to call her a coward but bailing out there once ready? once the bully was confronted there. Are you right. ready? I'm ready. Bring the bell. Brandy definitely trying to get into the head of Laney Luck here, trying to play mind games and get under her skin, see if she can yeah. force yeah. Laney Luck to maybe make a mistake, find yeah. an opening for Brandy. And yeah. Yeah. Brandy has got yeah. some ties yeah. to Ring of Honor, not just from prior appearances, yeah. but actually trained under the tutelage of Jay Lethal. Absolutely. Down there in Tampa, Florida. And a hammer lock here. Definitely did not get Jay's attitude. Right. Yeah, Jay's a little bit uh, more of an equal opportunity educator, whereas uh, Brandy Loren looking down on Laney Luck. Laney Luck with a wrist lock here. And to give the folks at home an idea of why these two women are wrestling, and when we had the field of 15, we had two alternates, just like we did for the Pure Tournament in the event of a COVID, yep. uh, an unfortunate COVID-related situation or an injury. Thankfully, Thankfully, we've not had to use these two young women. I know that they would have loved to have been in the tournament, but they are getting to compete here and maybe turn some heads. This, this isolated environment might be great for a look from someone like Maria Canales Bennett on the board of directors. I know Maria was very high on both of these women. It was a very close decision to see if either of these women were going to make the field of 15. You think this is a joke? Yeah. Single leg takedown here. But it's good to see them get this opportunity. You know, you never know who's watching, and you may impress the right people. There's a cover. I've definitely been in that situation before where you're just trying to get what? a job, show people that you belong here. Here we go. 
I remember your first match, your six-man scramble, if I'm not mistaken, with yeah. Jack Evans one. Both women trying to go for quick covers here. And ladies had a little bit more success recently here on uh, Women's Division Wednesday. We've seen her in some tag team matches, the singles matches as well. Nice drop down, almost catches Brandy Loren. But it's Laney Luck here, sacks her up. Two, just a two count there. Arm drag takeover, great wrestling here. Well, Laney's had a lot of great training as well. We talked about Jay Lethal training Brandy Loren. Laney spent a lot of time learning under Mustafa Ali in the ah. Chicago area. Nice drop kick there. It was a big part of the Lucha scene in the Chicago area after starting her career in Texas. And Laney, there you go, Mexican style arm drag. Laney's a step ahead of Brandy here. Brandy's getting frustrated, she's having to catch wind. Oh, big back elbow catches Laney Luck here. Has her in the ropes. And you know what, Jay Lethal did used to do this before he changed his ways. That's when you said Jay Lethal's not like this in, in my well, head. Well, I was like, it depends on what version of Jay right. Lethal. Not Jay anymore. The Jay Lethal of five, six years ago would have done something like that. Hooks the leg, cover, two. But definitely the Jay Lethal now is the franchise of the company. And to know that he is tutoring the future of wrestling is a good thing. Yeah. Certainly is, as we see Brandy Loren bring Laney Luck back to her feet. Irish whip into the corner here. Charging in, nobody home. Oh, Laney Luck, big time European uppercut. And it's almost like she's rhythm rhythmic, yeah, she, like she's dancing she, yeah. with these moves. Very effective. Oh! Is that forearm? Call that the Laney? Well, it's it's kind of like the Nene. -nay. She went right before she hit it. Yeah, the Laney. <laughs> <Lay -nay. laughs> yeah. Oh! Catapulted, though, into the corner. Now grabbing a hold right underneath the knees here. Oh! oh! When I saw Ooh. her lock in, I was like, there's no way this ends well for her at all. Certainly did not. Hooks the leg, two. I will say, though, as bad as it did look, I think Laney escaped a lot worse of a fate because it really only grazed the top of her scalp rather than catching it right between the eyes or in the forehead. She, it could have been much worse. She had the subtlety, the, the subtle movement to get herself ah! just out as she was trying to escape. No. Brandy Loren powered her out of it. Ah! Oh, God, Two, with the hair. Three. Now, I never saw Jay Lethal do that. Well, look at the eyes on Brandy, man. She does not care. Hooks the leg. Just a one count there. We take a look now. Brandy Loren in control here. And Laney Luck trying to fight back into this. Oh. Forearm delivers. Kick caught. Catches the leg, goes under it. Great count. Wow. Neck breaker. That was very impressive. Smartly going right for a cover. Two! Just a two count there. And Brandy looking a little bit frustrated. I think Brandy thought did a little more damage than may have happened right there. Wow. Oh, 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 going. Two, three. Going to the, the Ripping the glitter and the, the makeup off of her face. Just no respect whatsoever. And I think that's the big thing about Brandy. She has very little respect for anyone she gets in the ring with. What is the lore watching this? Right? <laughs> it feels like Brandy Loren would nice. fit right in with their style right and speed. In. Yeah, I think back to Ali Rex, who was intended to be in the tournament yeah. as well, but it's Brandy Loren. She has those arms trapped. And she is a fighter oh, dragon wow. sleeper here with the arm trap. So one thing about it is this lady knows how to wrestle. Brandy is a wrestler. She has that technically sound locked in. Laney's going to have to rip that arm out to get some play. She's got one arm free. Can't she get the other arm loose? She's going to have to try to stand to her oh. face. There you go. Yeah, didn't have a lot on those elbows, but the knee much more effective for Laney there. And now up to a standing position. Yeah, getting a firm vertical base, able to ram Brandy Loren into the corner. Yeah. Driving her again. Yeah. And a third block. It, yeah. And Brandy trying to get to the middle of the ring. There you oh, go. oh, Northern Lights. Ah. Couldn't quite hang on and go for that pinning combination after it, but definitely needed to buy some time and create some separation and some space for herself, did Laney. One of Laney's styles is to, dis to distract and disorient her opponents, but right now, Brandy Loren not distracted or disoriented as she drop kicks. Wow. 
the spine of Lainey Luck. Yeah, Lainey likes to utilize the dancing to do that. I don't think she's doing a whole lot of dancing right now. It has been Brandy Lauren in control for a little bit here. And sometimes that dancing is a confidence Three. thing, but sometimes it is a distraction thing as well uh, against uh, Lady herself because oh. she's doing this dancing when she's in a real fight. Perfectly timed kick right there, catching Brandy coming through the ropes. And now this unorthodox style. Laney Luck! Nice! The unicorn dive, hit her with the horn right in the midsection there. Yeah, it took a lot out of Laney as well, though. Both these women struggling One. here. Two. This contrast to Styles Three. has turned into quite a good matchup between these two athletes here in women's division Four. Wednesday. Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman, Lenny Leonard here on the call. We're on an even playing field right now, Caprice. Absolutely. It's the willpower stepping in now, and I want to see what Brandy can do here. I'm impressed with I've seen Lainey before. I haven't seen Brandy. And to be the first time I've seen her, she's really impressed me, the way she thinks, the way she moves. Wow! wow. Plants her with the head scissor driver. Party's over, move. Lainey's feeling it now. Party's over. Oh, big time boot. Now she's turning up the notch. Just the notch that I needed to see from Lainey. There she goes. And connects on the double knees. Just crushing Brandy in the corner. That wrist. Looking for death party driver. That's got to be, be it. it. Could yeah. be it. One, two. Oh. I'll tell you what, Brandy had to fight to get out of that pin. That was You can't get any more perfect of a cover than that. The body was laced in the right position and everything. That's one of her signature moves, too. She's won plenty of matches with that move. Looking for it again. Death Party driver. Into the corner. Charging in. Caught by Loren. Oh! Plants her with the neck breaker. Another perfectly executed neck breaker yeah. by Brandy into the cover. Two, three. Brandy staying on that neck area. And both of these women emptying it all out, leaving nothing to chance here in this great women's division Wednesday bout. And Brandy Loren. Oh, the wrists are locked. Ooh, just driving the feet through. Yeah. Wait a minute, Unicutter! Unicutter! Just nailed it! Hooks the leg! One, two! Got her. Lady Luck victorious! <laughs> Who winner of this match? Lady Luck! Lady Luck with a huge victory! The Turnt Party Unicorn with the Unicutter! And that was all she wrote, Lenny Leonard. You know, a great effort by both of these women. Take nothing away from Brandi Lauren. You may not like her attitude, but there's right. no denying the talent right. of that young woman. And tonight was just Lady Luck's night. With the champion crown, you got to think the champ will be looking for some challengers. Lady Luck throwing her name in the hat with that victory. And maybe even into the rankings, the outstretched hand there of Lady Luck. For Brandi Lauren. Shake her hand now. Wow. Oh, well, well, Lenny, I know we're a little sign language. I'm Italian, Just, you're Italian. You know, we know what that means. Yeah, that's a fight in my neighborhood. Right. Yeah. You look like a loser. As Brandy Laurent disappointed with the result, but Lenny Luck victorious here. So for Lenny Leonard, Caprice Coleman, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Thanks for watching Women's Division Wednesday. Her first dub in ROH.